Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Full disclosure, this is a recast. I wasn't pleased with the quality of the initial cast that I did with this grouping. This is Chogu League. Is this Group D? I think it's Group... <laughs> I should check that again. Yeah, Group D. Chogu League Group D, round of 16. Between Hoff, upper right-hand corner, green Protoss, and Ball, bottom left-hand corner, blue Protoss. A lot of stuff going on these days, and I just felt like my head wasn't in the game when I was casting these previously. Also, I'm probably going to do a recast of another match between Rota and Dark Swarm, so look forward to that. I just missed an immense amount of action. My, I feel like all the PvP knowledge that I've accumulated over the last bunch of years just went out my ears all of a sudden. I was just saying things where I have to like say it and stop and be like, wait a minute. Anyway, anyhow, I wanted to do this group justice. In particular, because I was thinking about doing that, and I was kind of waffling. I'm like, should I do this group justice? And then I saw Ball actually hop on Reddit and make a thread and say Diggity was casting these. I'm like, man, now I got to make sure I do these justice. This is going to be on Bombasticlips. I actually said that correctly this time, where I was just completely stumbling over at the last cast. We see a pylon scout first from Hoff. So I wanted to make sure that he gets inside the base and gets the scouting information he wants. Perhaps worried about Ball doing cheese or something along, along those lines. By the way, Ash Ball... Uh, part of Team Ash. Ash is a pretty solid client these days. I think he's... I'm not positive, but I think he's active with CPL. I know that he is active in some of the Extingent Star Leagues because he did link that out in Reddit. And I want to give him a special thanks for promoting the channel. And, uh, yeah. Just being a cool, active dude in community. We need more of that at large. He is planting a gas on 11. As his gateway about halfway finished. And that is going to be slightly, de uh, slightly delayed comparatively from Hoff on the opposite side on one hand because of that early probe scout that's just going to cause that much of a delay it is not irrecoverable though and having that extra information can be the difference in a match because a lot of pvp comes down to it's there's a lot of builds that can happen and two player maps that a lot of those are cut down but it really comes down to that exchange of observer dragoons uh, zealots first dark templar whatever there's kind of that dichotomy i feel like the big shift is is are you plopping down additional gateways to go for an additional attack are you going Reavers, or are you going for Economy? I feel like that tends to be the cycle of the Big Shift 3 in PvP, at least as far as I understand it. At least the bread and butter when I was trying to play PvP back in the day, uh, I was playing Protoss when I was trying to get decent. I think I got to like C- briefly, and then dropped, but I, I hovered around D+, back in the Icy Cup days, and that's, I don't know. I'm trying to think what the equivalent is, because I know they've adjusted the ranks. Point being, I've never been a good <laughs> StarCraft player, so I should disclose that when I'm casting these games as well. Uh, but, back when I was playing it, it felt like the bread and butter of Protoss was either one gate or two gate, uh, either one gate expand and trying to get away with that if you're, and then adjusting as to whether you're going up against a ton of gateways or not, or the two gate robo, uh, and adjusting your build from there into expand, and there are advantages and disadvantages from there. We do see, uh, range swirling here for ball but the trick is is you can cancel this this can be a tricky thing you can show range and then cancels looks like there's a little bit of mineral stolen from hoff that can be a little bit annoying with that probe opposite corner we're going to see if once we hit 150 gas if we see that range upgrade from hoff as well there is an initial dragoon that's going to try to take that probe that probe is going to be able to sneak out of the base and you can and this is the thing once that dragoon's out yeah that's that escorts that probe right out second dragoon being built for ball and at this stage, Ball has a slight edge because he had that later probe scout. It looks like range still not running for Hoff, and they're kicking up. So he's going to be a little bit later on that Dragoon range overall. And having additional range plus additional gateways and just one more Dragoon actually going up to three gateways here. So deciding to be a bit more aggressive comparatively. Hoff sticking to the single gateway, so he might be thinking about one gateway expand uh, with what he's seen thus far. A bit risky because he still needs to get that additional scouting information ball checking around locations just making sure that there's no proxies i like that play and there's kind of, unfortunately i just see this idle probe right here and a little bit of idle probes there and i'm wondering if that snurs factoring in and that is going to cost hoff in this mirror matchup robotics facility plopping down and additional gateway and i almost feel like there was some waffling and indecision there from hoff and it is that waffling and indecision as far as commit to build order that can cost you it can cost you games he's going to go up against three gateways his third gate, his second gateway is just going to be coming online. It's about halfway finished, which is going to give a significant Dragoon count lead to Ball over the next, I don't know, two minutes. At the moment, he's got, we've got three Dragoons versus Dragoons. Has range finished? And range still hasn't finished. So there's actually a time period here where range has finished here for Ball. He's got three gateways, superior production. We'll have 
superior production has the range advantage. Actually, putting that proxy pile in, I like that. But he's going to have to traverse a large distance. Hoff getting lucky. He's moving to the front, seeing absolutely nothing. So that should be a trigger for him to plop some additional things down. Let's see if he reacts to it. It looks like he is not reacting. Ball not liking the numbers disadvantage. Backing off. That probe does manage to sneak in. And I think... Can't get a really good look at it. But I do believe he saw the number of gateways that he's up against. He has three gateways himself. Uh, so he has to feel comfortable. So both players kind of resetting the one advantage currently is I think so that observatory just finishing here I'm wondering if Hoff yeah Hoff already has his observatory down just how things played out so he might get a bit of a scouting advantage I like these pylons to the exterior corners just in case there was reaver tech behind this because oftentimes you'll end up with shuttle drops reaver tech stuff along those lines it looks like Hoff thinking about already has this probe out here a little bit early on this probe but he's positioning that which suggests he thinking about just going with these three gateways into Nexus same thing on the opposite side from Ball. Ball is kind of positioning as though he's thinking about just pausing at some point, cutting back uh, Dragoon production going from there, although perhaps not. He has not stopped any of these. Maybe he just wants to get that little bit of a scout out first with the Observer. One Observer out for Hoff. It looks like it's staying near the natural expansion. This is actually also a critical time. This is kind of going to be the, the side story. Is Sometimes when you sneak into this, your opponent's actually gone some Dark Templar tech in the back corner. I remember seeing one match between G5 and Nuni. It looks like a fourth gateway plopped by Ball, by the way, and no Nexus. So it looks like he's opting, and he's still pumping Dragoons. So he is opting to play more aggressive. Still Dragoons pumping opposite side, I think, until there's in any sort of information. It looks like uh, Ball also plopping a pylon at the 9 o'clock, so maybe that's... kind of curious about this 9 o'clock pylon. The logic behind that. I'd like to hear that from him. Uh, out there. Ooh, Observer gonna get picked off. That's a bit unlucky. But anyway, G5 versus Nuni. There was a match where G5 actually had produced a Dark Templar. He knew that Nuni was gonna send it across, and he kind of edged it all the way around and ended up getting a significant amount of of drone... of, uh, of, <laughs> of probe kills. I wanted to say drone kills right there. Big engagement here. It looks like Hoff getting a... L they are gonna be in the middle, so no one's gonna have the high ground advantage. I'm not sure who has the superior amount of Dragoons right here, but I think Hoff, with the closer reinforcement points, he's gonna have superior numbers briefly. Observer moving in, but Ball looks like he's gonna back off. It looks like Ball, I think, microing it just a little bit better. Hoff pulling back to his natural expansion. There's no additional Nexus, so nothing lost right there, and now Ball establishing a bit of a contain. He needs to be careful going into this because there is high ground advantage along these corners. He has four gateways just these against these three. I don't see any Reaver tech. And Ball diving in. Good focus fire on these Dragoons versus the scattered fire from Hoff. I think Hoff getting caught off guard. And as a result, he's going to lose significant amounts of comparative Dragoons. Plus that pylon's going to be taken down. And that is the small advantages lead to big advantages. And right now Ball has... So usually what happens here is you go four gate versus three. Just a shuttle here. Maybe he can... I, I think this might be it. So producing a shuttle, he can just sneak in and out uh, of the shuttle with the Dragoon sometimes, but it's not in position. That's GG instead. So Ball able to really catch the timing of that. I think catch Hoff off guard. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I feel like that was a better cast than the previous time I did this. Anyway, thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we're, yeah, going to continue doing this the rest of the Triple League group day. Uh, group day? Group D.